awaited verdict in two states of Naxal hit Jharkhand and separatist shadowed Jammu and Kashmir are out. Interestingly, the results are more or less closer to the projections of various pollsters. The BJP with 41 seats has emerged as the single largest party with 41 seats, just crossing the halfway mark of total 81, according to the last received reports. In Jammu and Kashmir, though its Mission 44 failed to come through, nevertheless, it could garner 25 out of 87 seats. First time in the history of getting so many seats. In the last assembly, it had just won 11 seats. Well, the critics of BJP, especially its arch rival Congress, as well as newly formed Janata Parivar, may make light about the former's claim of winning 44 seats. Yet, winning 25 seats by no means a small achievement. The two state results clearly reinforce that the so-called Modi's wave on one is only a myth. The word is not for BJP, for Modi. And this has been re-established yet again, if the two state results are any indication. For the newly formed Janata Parivar, consisting of Mulayam Singh Yadav's Samajwad Party, Lalu Prasad Yadav's Rashtriya Janata Dal and former Prime Minister Deve Gauda's Janata Dal, the results in Jharkhand proves greatest disappointment. Do their hopes perish even before the new Parivar experiment could blossom? In Jharkhand, the BJP set form the government with simple majority. Now everyone's eyes are on Jammu and Kashmir where the PDP of Mufti Mohammad Saeed could emerge as the single largest party with 28, followed closely by BJP with 25, where National Conference and Congress managed to get 15 and 12 respectively. In all probability, the Jammu and Kashmir said to have a PDP-BJP government with over 50 seats together. In fact, Mehbooba Mufti, the PDP leader, has dropped enough hints that they are not averse to go with BJP. Even BJP may as well accept PDP as a major partner in the coalition government and willing to settle and play a supportive role in most constructive manner. But in case if the PDP chooses the other way under the pressure of separatists to keep off BJP, then it may as well take Congress help to cobble the needed majority in the 87 Assembly. That's PDP 28 plus Congress 15 that is equal to 43, besides roping in one or two independents. In that backdrop, one may have keep their fingers crossed and watch out what is going to happen in Jammu and Kashmir, which bound to have a bearing on national politics in days to come. News Desk, Mango News. <laughs> Sarah, I'm going to